Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to import a soil map into Google Earth Pro that we can later export to SketchUp for use in farm scale planning. I'm using Google Earth Pro here. It's actually a free version. Uh, you, can, you can download it from Google. And, uh, but I'm going to start in Soil Web. This is a, a really neat website that, um, that, that has the soil data that you can just click on anywhere on this map and it's going to show you what soil type you've got. You can come up to the, uh, the menu here and, and enter your address. But you can see when I click here, it's going to pull up the, the, the soil data that includes you know, the farmland class, uh, drainage class, flooding frequency, a lot of really important information for when you're putting trees in. Um, so I'm actually just going to do a screen capture of this. I use this snipping tool and uh, you can do whatever you know your operating system uh, does for screen capture but this gives me a nice clean image i'm going to save this as uh, soil web capture and uh, then i'm going to go back into google earth here and i'm going to click this button up here that says add image overlay i'm going to find the image i just saved and um, and then I'm going to rename it Soil Web Capture. I'm going to go down here to this transparency and I'm going to make it about 50-50. And that'll allow us to match this up. Now, you're going to have to match this photo. And you can see the barn here is a different size on this. Um, the, the middle crosshairs here move the picture around. And then these outside crosshairs are actually going to scale it. But it's really important that you hold the Shift button as you click here, that's going to keep it scaling proportionally. Uh, if you don't do that, things get smushed pretty quick and it's, uh, that's not what we want. So you just kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit here until, um, until it doesn't look blurry anymore. And you, you don't have to be perfect on this. Soil maps aren't perfect anyway, but um, you can get pretty close. You, you know, you can zoom in and kind of check uh, to see, I'm looking at the barn here and then, you know, maybe at the road uh up here to kind of match it up just fiddle with it a little until it looks pretty good that that looks fine um not too blurry anymore then i'm going to take this back down to about 25 percent uh and that what that's going to do is take away the blurriness but it's going to leave sort of the outline of these uh soil types so that when uh, we use it later on these will get exported along with the photos great we'll see you in the next video thanks